Hey yo, what's up my little coders? Let me show you today how to solve the little question number seven, reverse integer. And as you already could guess, we just basically need to return the reversed integer. If we get, let's say 123, we need to return 321. Similar pattern applies for the negative numbers. And if we have some trailing zeros, we just don't care about them and just return the rest, but in a reverse way. If it's only one digit value, we just return the same one digit value. This is what we need to do, guys. And also there's one rule. If reversing X causes the value to go outside the signed 32-bit integer range, then return zero. Okay, this is a nice rule, but for now, let's not care about it. And let's just figure out the way we you know how to reverse the integer without thinking of the integer ranges for now. And how people would usually do it? Probably you might think, okay, if I get an integer, what if I convert this integer to the string after that reverse string, then again, convert string to the integer and just return it. And it will work. However, it will not be very efficient. There's a better way to do it. And you can do it just by doing some division. I will show you in a second what I mean. So we just declared two variables. Let's, one will be to store the result and one to store the last current digit. And because we're going to do some division inside this nice value, while x is not equal to zero, then let's try to get the last digit. And how you can get the last digit? You can basically do, oops, x mod 10. If let's say the input value was 123 and you do 123 mod 10, basically you will get three, which is the last digit. And if you get the last digit, then we can update our results straight away. We just do result multiply by 10 plus the last digit. And, you know, to somewhere escape this while loop, we also need to basically do x uh, divided by 10. If we start with 123, we calculate the last digit. It's equal to 3. Then we do result multiplied by 10 plus the last digit, which is like 0 by 10 plus 3, which is equal to 3. So right now our result is equal to 3. X is equal to 123, but we do like 123 divided by 10. X right after that will become, will be equal to 12. Then we go on the next iteration of the while loop. Again, last digit from 12, which is 2. Then we update the result. So result will be equal to um, 32 right now. And then basically, again, division. So we divide 12 by 10. We have one, and basically we're doing this thing again, and then we return 321. This is how you solve it. Just return the result. And if I run the code now, then yeah, we pass the test case, the first one. However, if I submit, if I submit, it will say to us that we passed almost all of the cases. Um, however, not for 100%. So we didn't pass the five test cases. And this is because of, you know, this rule that like, when uh, reversing the X value, if you go outside the sign 32 bit integer range, we need to return zero. Okay, let's just do this modifications. So what if we just don't use the integer for the result? What if we use long? And after we do, you know, uh, this thing is here. What if we just check if, if the result went outside the 32-bit integer range? And it's just simply, you know, result, if result is greater uh, than the integer dot max value, or if you're dealing with the negative numbers, if result is less than integer dot min value, in this case, we just return zero. And Elsa, because right now the result is of type long, but we need to return the integer. We just convert it, we just can convert it to the integer when we will return it. And that's it, guys. So if I run the code, then it passes. Now, if I submit, if I submit, I get 100%, guys, simply as that. So it's a quite simple problem. I will not lie. However, you know, you need to know the the best way to solve this problem because 
actually a lot of companies in the past ask this question and you know this is quite popular question so you really you really need to know how to solve it and guys please also make sure that you subscribe to my channel then challenge your friends to see if they can solve this question or not and guys i will see you in the next video good luck <laughs>